News. We're starting with breaking news today. Due to staffing shortages caused by COVID-19, McLaughlin Middle School's eighth grade class will be canceled tomorrow and on Friday. Thank you for joining us tonight on Newswatch 12 at 4. I'm Caleb Michael. Newswatch host Brett Taylor has been speaking with school officials all day about their ongoing staffing challenges. And with this breaking news and the pandemic, a lot has been going on. Brett, I know you've been following it all. What can you tell us? Yeah, that's exactly right, Caleb. From the latest information that we've been able to gather so far, we have learned that the McLaughlin Middle School for the Midford School District, again, like you just mentioned, will be closed on Thursday and Friday. And school district officials are telling me that they're hopeful that they'll be able to get that eighth grade class back open next Monday. Now, this closure is not affecting anyone else in the middle school. That includes sixth graders or seventh graders. Again, it's just for the eighth grade class. But, Caleb, again, this, this whole COVID-19 issue with staffing shortages has been just an absolute whirlwind for the Medford School District over the last couple of months. Dr. Brett Champion telling me that this has been an absolutely remarkable challenge for them to deal with over the last several months or so. Now, again, like I mentioned, this has not been the first time that they've had to deal with this type of issue. Dr. Champion, again, telling me earlier today that this has been going on for months and that they've been having to plug in other district staff members into different classrooms just to try to fill the holes where teachers are needed, but that during this latest surge, this problem has really increased dramatically because of that. Dr. Champion told me today that there is some worry that some teachers or even staff members may be getting close to their breaking point, just like so many other people are doing in their jobs across the country. At our schools, we have people doing incredible work that are getting very close to the breaking point to where um, if this thing doesn't peak in, in beginning of February, like like they're projecting, I, I honestly I don't know what it's going to look like because we're going to have to think about doing education differently if there's if there is something else that happens. Now, Dr. Champion did tell me that the school district with, is talking with its staff daily about how they're feeling and how exactly the school district can help them out. But again, this has just been an ongoing issue, like I mentioned, for the last several months. And like we just mentioned moments ago, again, we're seeing some of the impacts already from this virus impacting McLaughlin Middle School here in Medford. Now, if there are any new developments with the story, we will continue to update you and inform you. For all of you watching tonight, if there are going to be any more closures or if this closure to the eighth grade class of McLaughlin Middle School will be extended even further beyond this coming Friday. Reporting live in Medford, I'm Brett Taylor, News Watch 12. Thank you, Brett. And as of now, Ashland High School will be welcoming students and staff for in-person classes on Monday. Two weeks ago, the school temporarily suspended in-person learning because of COVID-fueled staffing shortages. The district superintendent told us this morning that at their peak, they had 87 staff out district-wide. But he says absences have dropped dramatically and they are looking forward to resuming in-person learning at AHS on Monday.